Welcome back, everybody. This is Eric here at IREC Veteran 8888. Uh, we're over here at the Griffin Armament booth. Uh, we're going to talk about some uh, suppressors and muzzle devices that these guys are making. And I'm here with Evan. How you doing? Good. How are you guys? All thanks, right. Thanks for a lot for coming out. Thank Absolutely. You for, thank you guys for tuning in to SHOT Show 2014 and obviously uh, the awesome channel with the IREC Veteran. Thank you. Um, we're going to... We uh, have done some things in the last year, uh, new product developments. We've also uh, done some uh, work with American Defense Manufacturing. So they're going to be launching a line of uh, AR-15 rifles right here, which are really premium rifles. Uh, we're partnering with B5 Systems on the uh, on the stocks. Uh, they're also going to come with uh, yep. B5 custom injected furniture, which we don't have yet. Um, the rails, we're doing four different rails, uh, two key mods. This is our low light rail. Uh, an interesting thing of note, with our rails is that they're going to be pushed from 77.5 aluminum uh, instead of the commonly available 606.1. So rigidity and uh, will be through the roof compared to those. Uh, a lot less flex, uh, which is why this is called the low light rail. Um, this is our rail that we're going to prescribe IR laser users and, and night vision users use, um, just because of the integral quarter Picatinny rails, so you get the best fitment for IR options. Sure, it keeps everything low profile without being quite so bulky. And right, but it also gives you the most sturdy, stable mount because you're not stacking components okay. and adding possibilities for tolerance slop. Makes sense. Um, these Griffin angle sights are new for this year. Um, this is a fully adjustable rear. It's got a key slot uh, windage with a uh, toolless adjustable vertical that's just detented. Um, these are fully custom Swiss turn components. Uh, the front, the front sight is a full billeted um, sight with a with a billet uh, integral post with the HK loop style. The post is centered perfectly in the loop, so you get a really nice fast acquisition uh, with with those sights. Those will be coming out at a really good price point too, 195. Okay. Uh, you'll be seeing them at distributors for 185. Sure thing. Uh, so really nice price point for that. You guys um, making these charging handles? Yeah, this, these, so this rifle's an ADM rifle, and uh, they're coming out with their own proprietary features on this stuff. We've got a uh, ambidextrous charging handle. This is the heavy-duty charging handle, and I'll show you that actually right now with another handle here. We've got a uh, suppressor uh, relief here for gas. Uh, the fitting pad has been optimized, so you get a little bit less gas pullback than is typical. Uh, with other charging handles. Also, the reinforcement geometry here uh, leads to less snapping or breaking of, of, the, of the toe here. Uh, and this is a 707.5 billet part as well. The uh, design intent of this product was to implement the Eugene Stoner design of a latch, which then transfers, collapses and transfers the force to the charging handle itself so that you're not putting a torque stress on, on a pin or something like that. So that's the design intent behind that. That makes sense. Um, for the lower itself, we've got uh, ambi levers that will be, I, I believe, a 60 degree selectable. Um, we also have a proprietary bolt catch here. Um, it's, what's nice about this bolt catch is unlike uh, levers that can be in the trigger guard and stuff like that, uh, if you, should you forget to release your bolt or something like that, it's right there against where your trigger's finger is normally placed. So you can just drop it like that, nice and easy. I like that. Uh, also, you can lock it up into place. Um, it also has a uh, ambidextrous mag release, oversized uh, bolt release there. Uh, so it's kind of nice stuff. Uh, the billet, this is a billet upper as well from ADM. Uh, finger shelves left and right. It's got some mag pull styling here uh, that matches the, uh, the, the, the floor plate of the magazine, matches the, the, uh, the feed well here, this geometry stylistically. It's got a 60 degree shoot, so it's pretty quick sure. for reloads. Um, the rails are going to have these uh, time cert, high quality stainless thread inserts, so they're going to be really durable and they'll really grab the rail. And that way, you, you don't have to be scared to like torque them down. You know, right, put a little right, tension right, on them right. if you need to. Because uh, what's the weight of the rifle? Is it pretty heavy? Or um, we're not really it? positive on an actual spec right now. Uh, these are uh, some production prototypes, but um, the the rifles are not meant to be extremely lightweight. They're meant to be uh, very durable products that. Uh, for are for more of a military or law enforcement style of user. That... Oh, okay, yeah, I like that. That's handy. Well, neat. Uh, let's talk about a few of the cans. Okay, cool. Yeah. So uh, last year, our first year at SHOT Show, we kind of introduced some suppressors. Um, our, our mainstay suppressor, which is the one that we've had the longest uh, in our lineup, 
is our M4ST2 suppressor. Um, these, these suppressors, M4ST2 and M4STK, um, are unique in that they are uh, attachable to A A2 NATO interfaces, um, but they also attach to our proprietary muzzle devices that you might see at your, your e-commerce retailers. Uh, so it's a pretty quick mount. You just grab the locking gate, deflect the spring plate, and pull it right off. And so you can go to A2, or you can go to like our flash comp, our muzzle brake, our flash hider, uh, stuff like that. So, so you guys pretty much have designed your, your flash comp and your muzzle brakes to be of a diameter that would be pretty much just like a regular A2 brake. Right. So that it, everything right. interfaces the same. Right, except our, our devices have a 3 ten thousandths accuracy on the OD. So sure. with our practical testing, we've seen about a minute and a half a shift on this suppressor. Uh, with A2, you get anywhere from maybe two to four. Yeah. So you're giving up a little bit of POI, uh, but a lot of Ellie have been interested in this. Uh, for, there's some foreign interest as well, obviously with the NATO. And uh, for the really short range guys, that uh, that two minutes might not be a big deal if you're doing entry stuff sure. and things of that nature. Um, if we go over here, we got a new product for uh, 2014 that we're excited about. This is a uh, kind of a convertible suppressor. It's called the Revolution 9. Uh, what's unique about this suppressor is that you can drop the external booster housing and collect, configure the suppressor into a shorter unit. So you're getting uh, kind of to, to play with both things without having to be segmented towards one product or the other. So, sure. Uh, that's a new product for us. We also redesigned our uh, M4SD muzzle brake to have some vertical uh, compensation uh, to that. I'm and, liking uh, that. I, I like the charging handle a lot, and I like the suppressor design. I like the you know the mounting system of the suppressor is very handy. Cool. Just like you say, you know, there's a lot of people that are going to run a one, you know, want to run an A2 uh, style brake or, or whatever. You know, just a lot of people just have that standard NATO style right. muzzle device. Right. So it just makes sense for them to be able to slap that suppressor on. Right. I think that in the suppressor market, it's handy when you have something that's compatible with a wide range of stuff as possible. So right, right, right. I'm glad to see that. You definitely. I agree. That there. was that was the that was the design intent with that product is that. You know, there's a lot of users out there that don't want to spend $600 on muzzle devices to equip all their guns. Right. So they might already have A2s. And so for that user, they can get the suppressor. It's kind of a bolt-on accessory. Uh, for the more scrupulous user, they can select a high-performance muzzle device that, sure. that meets their needs. And I'm liking the little checkmate there, the little 22 can. Yeah, this is a product that we've had for a while, but um, maybe not a lot of people have seen. Uh, this is a three-lug attachable a uh, little quick mount rimfire suppressor. So you just <laughs> you just turn it a uh, quarter turn and uh, comes right out. Fast attaches really easily. Now I like that. Uh, this is a really high performer too at 40 decibels. Oh, okay. So it's uh, right up there with industry leading rimfire suppressors. Okay. So well, you know, I might have to, um, you know, might have to get our hands on one of the little 22 cans to try out for yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll have to do that for sure. Yeah, one absolutely. last thing that is Kind of a, a newer concept with, with tactical sound suppressors is uh, we're doing a we're bringing a precision style mounting interface to a, a tactical sized and durability and weight conscious uh, sound suppressor family, which is our Recce series suppressors. So what's, what's cool about these is that unlike other mounting systems in the marketplace, this is a robust, simple system that has a solid lockup, gives you minimal point of impact shift. Uh, it's very consistent. Uh, the taper of our muzzle device allows us to run full auto without. Uh, the likelihood of uh, the suppressor loosening, even though there's no actual locking feature, uh, additional mechanical locking feature. And so uh, these suppressors, I, I really like a lot. Um, the Recce 7 has been selling really great for us. Any of our larger board suppressors, you can step down on a smaller caliber. So we're seeing a lot of users in that 30 caliber range, you know, selecting a, a mid-sized 30 cal suppressor so they can step it down on their 5.56 guns. Absolutely. It looks like you guys got some great products going on. I'm loving the AR design, I like the suppressor designs, muzzle devices, charging handle, I like the charging handle design a lot. So it looks like you guys are really offering a lot of uh, game-changing things to the AR market. And I know that the AR market is relatively stagnant in it's, some circles. You got to offer something new and I can tell that you guys are definitely offering, you know, a lot of new stuff. Yeah, we try to focus on things that as end users, you know, we feel the market would, would like to see. Sure. And so um, we've been really busy, obviously. But um, these products are, are great products, and thanks a lot for uh, coming sure by. Thing, yeah. Re Absolutely. Really appreciate it. Yeah, man. Uh, Absolutely. Really appreciate that. Absolutely. Well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we have many more SHOT Show videos on the way. We've been working our fannies off uh, 
walking around talking to all these great people and uh, we've met some just very interesting people at SHOT Show, a lot of great companies, a lot of people I didn't didn't know existed and that's the whole point of coming out here is to learn about things and uh, I definitely learned something here so uh, hopefully uh, we'll catch you guys next time and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Have a good one.